very special happy birthday episode to Vinny Stigler and Luca Bella. Here we go. Welcome to the Diablo. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. All right. So, yo, this is uh, really awesome. So, this is different for all of us, right? Because we've been doing this via YouTube and Skype. online and on Skype, and uh, it's it's been very difficult. So, I'm excited to have in person people. So, thank you so much. Happy thank to be you. Thank you. Yeah. Good so, to be around friends. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And a special occasion because both of your guys' birthday today. So, I feel blessed to spend it with you yeah, guys cool. today in my brand new store. Beautiful so thank store. you, thank you guys Static so Aaron. much for coming out. Static Air in Connecticut. So here we go. So the way the show works, if you guys Shout haven't, out to uh, the South. oh, it's, there you go. <laughs> the way the show used to work prior to, uh, you know, the camera shit was we go around and ask everybody what's going on. Yeah. So let's uh, let's just kick it off. E, what's new with you since last I talked to you? What's happening? Since I, last, I had a tooth infection. I saw that. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about uh, that. Uh, I want to tell you, kids. Uh, Fuck punk rock, stay a Kansas City job. Besides that, uh, I had a, a did a video for my metal band Death Star Inferno. Sick. Last Sunday and and the Sunday before that, I did a, a my group Spick with Joe Fado and Big Lito. So we did a song in Queens and shout out to Richie Fire R D tattooing. Awesome man, yeah, I saw both of those videos. The the. Uh, they look amazing. Hey, what, hey, do we know when we're gonna, those are coming out? The Death Star one looks sick. Yeah, like, Death Star's amazing. Uh, the, the guitar player, Stefan, does everything. He's German, so you know how they are. <laughs> so uh, so funny. I think my grandparents are rolling in the graves. <laughs> <laughs> but, but besides that, that fucking a great Death Star film. It's great shout to Stefan. He writes all the music. It's, uh, it's, it's crossover shit. It sounds like Machine Head meets fucking Carnival. That's sick. Yeah, so we're going to have, uh, we're, we're going to be <laughs> doing all the, the socials for that, for that. Lou, what have you been up to, man, during this break? I mean, you guys have been uh, a little bit busy, Dying, so. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. Uh, new record just came out yeah, from yeah, you guys. Yeah. Tell us really quick. We're going to hit on it a little bit, but quickly, uh, tell us a little bit about the new record. It's just a two-song EP right now. It's called House. What was that? It's a two-song EP uh, called House of Grief. It's just a uh, uh, prelude to the full EP, seven-song EP that's coming out. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. Uh, it's got uh, a song called House of Grief and a remake of um, of uh, Necropolis City. Of so the this Dan, is some, which some you, you guys put out. Yep. Like, yeah, I got um, to still I put that out early on. Yeah. Awesome. Stigma, what have you been listening to uh, lately or <clears throat> checking out? Movies, anything? Well, uh, anyway, I, I, the last thing I checked out was to lose... Uh, New EP, awesome! Yeah, it's really fucking good. hard. Yeah. Really good. Look, yeah, really good. Congratulations. Thank you. Really great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, did that at Barking Richie Cannon, our guitar player. Finally, yeah, like Richie you, had his dream and finally opened up his own. Studio. Yeah, that's no, really. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's it's called, great guy. It's called House of Grief. The the EP. Is that because of work with Manny Pasta and Rips? No, it's because of Manny Pasta and my friend. I'm the Reaper. I'm the Reaper, Reaper your soul. Yeah, 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 yeah,
called Colossus. So that demo's coming soon. So check that shit out. So a couple of things oh, just to yeah, talk right, about. Right, right. Cool, cruel Hand. Yeah, cruel they, Hand, yeah. Shout out to them. them. Oh, hey, guys. Dude, you, yeah, I toured yeah, with yeah, them yeah, before yeah. they were Cruel Hand. Yeah. yeah. Outbreak. 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 Shout out to Ryan. Outbreak. 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 Okay. I should crack call this mother. All right. So I'm gonna go. I want. I want to hear. Uh, the first story I want to hear is Stigma. What is your first early memory of, of Danny? All right. First of all, he was about ten years old. He used to knock fucking forty year old guys out. <laughs> no problem. I was with him. I was like, Yo, get out of the way, kid. I said, Yo, mind your business. I swear to God, I was there. I, I, really, I got to say, tough motherfucker, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. He was like 12 years old, knocking 45 year old guys out, I couldn't believe it. Beat me in handball, <laughs> beat me in handball, <laughs> beat me in handball, in, in Mock Street, that's on my own court. <laughs> it was a, that's that's it, that's it, I got beat. You know, Italian yeah. from handball, Puerto Rican, no way, I'm Puerto Rican, no way, no way, no way, no uh, <laughs> no, I gotta get. Him. I gotta special up because he beat me in handball. Um, until today, I, I'm scarred. We're gonna have to get a rematch with, with you guys. Oh yeah, we, yeah. Can that. Yeah. we can do that. That would be, be awesome, man. Ah, uh, stay with. Yeah, man. I mean, dude, just again, su super excited to have both of our guests here. So, Lou, you and actually Isaac go back too. Oh, you guys. Uh, oh, no, there, man, there we go. His story's here. Yeah, I want to hear about that. Cause I, for those who don't know, guys played in Scarhead together. God, for well, poor Lou. Yeah. What's your, what's your <laughs> memories about? I remember, I remember Lou going on tour and Lou, Lou was diagnosed with cancer. Horrifying. But we didn't know yet. We didn't know. I was like, I was like nigga, man up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, four guys cancer, I'm telling you something, bitch. Yo, we are play the next show. Fuck I, this. I had just four guys cancer, that's what I'm trying to say. I had just started dating this girl at the time. Am I supposed to look over here? Yeah. Anywhere, yeah. <laughs> and uh, right, off, right before we left, I was supposed to start dating this, this girl. And uh, the whole time I'm complaining about pains and my legs and shit like this, like really, I'm, like crying almost, you know. And they, they're going, "Oh man, you fucking bitch!" In the meantime, we're getting every night fucking Fights. brawls, like yeah. breaking bottles over heads. And fucking <laughs> Who's the most spitting. brutal tour in the world? Yeah, we most, did, and one of the most brutal. Fights in hardcore history, besides like, not as fun as the play. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice uh, yeah. <laughs> it was similar to that, very similar. No, it was great because it was a three-story fucking. But remember, oh my God, we had to get out of there. What was the Detroit? The, yeah, but it was the, uh, the Eminem uh, uh, movie. They had uh, eight miles. Eight miles. Yeah, but, uh, eight miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I like. We played there with Gorilla Biscuits. Wait, 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 I just saw it. So, so, so we're in St. Andrews Hall, right? Tell, tell me. And, and we're, play, we're playing the fucking show. And we're, you know, we're on the tour already, and we're all fucked up looking out because we're worn so out and shit. And it was us, hey, Bree, hey, Bree, Mad Bull, Mad Bull Cold as Life, and, uh, and uh, Earth Crisis. And our roaches were Lash. Yeah. Scam. Scam. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scam. Yeah. That was our roadies. They were in our roadies. They were troublemakers. So what happens now is that they, when the club, the hardcore show shut down, they opened it up to a uh, uh, dance party. So, But they let us stay there. Right, and at the top of the floor, they were giving out, they were handing out for free for a limited, for how many to have? They're handing out thir <laughs> quarts, quarts, thirty-two of ounces of bottles, bottles. Wow. to walk around with. Walk around with it. Yeah, like forget. Next thing you know, scams on the fucking DJ. Uh, the, 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 the <laughs> cage, like a little monkey. Like a little monkey. And he got stabbed. Or, I mean, right? He got stabbed. Somebody so stabbed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now, and well, then, a car scratch. Yeah. Oh, and that, when that happened, it was us against the entire. Crowd. And I'm not even joking around. Like every, it was us versus everybody in the whole fucking. It just went, boom, blew out of control. Fucking, we had the fucking. I, I smashed the guy with the with the with the with the with the court, and then he's that comes by me. No, no, he did it first, and then they did that second. <laughs> no, <laughs> the guy at the window. Yo, fucking, yo, uh, do you remember? Do you remember the guy? Just went to Hoya, just goes out to Hoya. So this is a funny story. Oh, of course, was, the mic was there too. Well, it's right. So, was it? so all of a sudden, we're fighting like. Michigan dudes, right? Midwest fucking football players. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, straight like, up. Hell, Billy. Like, yeah. So one guy's like, what's up? And I go, what's up? So I pick up a chair. I pick up a... Not like a that, uh, yeah. that couch, a small chair, but a big I love seat. I pick up and go, ah! Yeah. 
himself and bounced off his head. He's like, ah! He, he runs right at me. And when he ran, the Hoyer saw this. I went, oh shit. So when he ran at me, I hit him, boom. And I knocked him out, but he felt like he was knocked out. And I was like, get him off me. Get him off me. But there's one part of this whole story. We're running out, the cops come in, and me and Lou DiBello, do you remember what I said to you? What? With the box? Oh, no, I did, yeah. Right, let me get to that. I'll get to that. <laughs> so I got a little nervous during this fight. I, I played baseball my whole life. I had a good fucking arm, a good eye at one point. So I was standing behind the bars and I had all the empty bottles. And I remember Boston Mike going, Oh, yo, Lou, he's fucking... They're going, he's throwing the fucking... Like, he's throwing fastballs. And I'm going, Bing! Bing! Ah, bing! Yeah, ah, bing! 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 Like this. Bing! 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 All people said... You come run out, he's like, goes, take the cash box. Run out the cash box. I grabbed the fucking cash box. I was like, yo, box. fuck that. We'll yeah. run jail. Yeah. And it was, it was train tickets. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta punish that. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> we, ran to, we ran to, we ran to, uh, the Call His Life dudes, the house. We, yes, uh, yes, the, the, the crazy one. Yeah, yeah, we, we hit out in his house. We hit yeah. out in his house. That's and we got, no, 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 no. With the beard, the one with the beard. Oh, what the fuck? Was he was, no, Roy Jeff. Boy, Jeff, uh, was it Jeff? The one with the, the, the crazy, the, the crazy one tattoo face. It's all of them. Doug. 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 He get down and we want to see the cash box like this. Like, well, open the cash box is drink tickets. It's all oh, fucking t man. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and he had that squirrel, half cat, half squirrel. Yeah, it was the Midwest, that's what I just yeah, said. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, it was like a, he had a cat that was bred with a squirrel. I had like a squirrel tail. <laughs> like this. One of them fancy cats, you know. Yeah. Fancy pieces. But they called us. Fancy pieces. The promoter called up the next day, he said, he said, you guys are never allowed to play. Oh, yeah, in yeah. 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 yeah, okay. They put yeah. 23 people in the hospital. Yeah. And none of us, we were fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember playing back, it was like a lot of people had affiliations with other people out there. It was like, for like a few months, for a year, it was like kind of bad. Yeah, but speaking of Detroit, I'll be playing there on uh, <laughs> April 22nd at the Magic Stick. So come on down, it's a Thursday night. Yeah. Yeah. Who says we can't play there? Al Capone's vault? <laughs> That's Chicago. <laughs> Diablo's Corner. The, 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 Diablo's Corner. Yeah, 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 I love it. You play underneath the uh, Giants, uh, the field goal where Jimmy Hoffa's buried. It. Down there, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Lou DeBow. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. To Lou DeBow's yeah. stigma. Happy birthday. So I want to talk a little bit. Shout out to Ian McFarlane, who did one of the greatest oh, the films. Movie, yeah. Great movie. Yeah. The Godfather's a hardcore. That's so right. I did. It I was did. one of the best things. Don't I actually got it. to I you did have tears. Yeah, when Roger was talking about it. It came with you. I was like, Vinny, man, that was the best. Yeah, I mean, that listen, I was star. I was super fortunate to work on a couple different parts of that with uh, with Vinny and, and Ian. So shout out to Ian. I was super blessed. So I do want to ask, like, Vinny, what was that like watching that movie? I mean, it was done so well. What was that like for you to see everything like that presented? Is that surreal feeling? Like, what's that like? A little bit surreal, you know. Uh, it's just a trilogy of life. Yep. You know, I, I, you know, been there, done that with you. I've been there with you. I've been there with you out there. You know, and we all miss you guys. You yeah, know? shout out to and everybody you, watching at home. Yeah. Oh, my God, I yeah. Mean, you know, so uh, it was just a thing, you know, you do. You just be yourself, do what you got to do. It's not like my movie that we're going we're to do. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit <laughs> about New York that. Uh, blood. We're doing New York blood. We're, we're the best of stigma. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about yeah, that. yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, I had to bring that up. I can't help it. <laughs> no, no, I'm glad we're talking about that. You know, it's all natural, it's all good, and it's all that, you know, it's all... One of the coolest things I think for me as a fan was seeing all of the archival footage, and I've talked about this before. Like, mm, yeah. how fucking cool to see some of that stuff. Like, again, like some of those early shows, you know, or where they're talking, interviewing you guys on those I, public I was, access today's shows. my birthday, so people have been like shooting pictures. Crazy old pictures. And it's like, wow, I don't remember that. Like, you know? What, what, what was the first year? Yeah. The first year you went to Europe? What, what, what year? 90. Was what was that experience like? Well, the wall was just up or just fell. So just 89, it fell down. So yeah, 89, yeah. so we're there in 90. Yeah. And uh, we went, we started playing sanctuary shows. When we first started touring uh, Eastern Europe, uh, there were no roads, no gas stations. Yo, the hot. money was different. You go to here, you got to change the money. You go over there, you got to change the money. You starve yeah. the whole time. So... Uh, as far as like the road to pay, because they sleep. Oh, remember, 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 remember Poland? Poland? I can remember, sleep, remember, no problem. Only a few beers. Remember going to Poland in 95? Yeah. That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> I was, that was in that bus.
much. We yeah. love he, he wakes up early in the morning. He wakes up early in the morning. He wakes up the whole bus. <laughs> right? I see you there in the corner of my eye. <laughs> I know. Remember that? Yeah. Listen, this is the closest thing we can get to a show until it comes hey. back, and I needed this. So I appreciate it getting yeah, yo. here, man. Um, so, talking about the movie and just all the travels, you guys did do a new record around the time AF did a new record. Tell a little bit. Uh, tell us a little bit about that record. That Which record? Come on. We made like a thousand records. I know. All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> just like anything else, it's like uh, the same thing like the movie. It yeah. matches the movie. It's it's me, you, it's us, it's what's going on. No, I, lo stuff, I love it. And stuff like that, you know? I mean, I tried the best I could, I, you know? Give me a chance. You're the only band. You're the only band out of New York City that helps other New York City bands out. And the only band that I'm saying, but like hardcore band that does a thing and it's cool with their, their, the people. The bands that are from New York City that play Europe all the time and don't even talk to the fans or don't right. even care, fuck. But you are always there in the mix. I, well, you know and what? that's why I love you. Yeah? Not right. like that, but these guys are very well respected from back then yeah. in the thrash metal from the thrash bands yeah, the crossover. to the fucking crossover bands to the punk bands yeah. they relate to they, everybody everyone loves Nazi Front everyone yeah. has a Nazi Front shirt yeah. like and Metallica loves yeah. 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 Metallica loves a Nazi yeah. Front come on it's yeah. everyone loves a Nazi Front well that's what was cool like watching that movie like when you, you know just watching the feedback from all of these yeah, yeah. people like saying like oh this movie was you know, I, I can't believe it. Just watching the names of people that were affected by it. I mean, even from, you know, like I was telling you before, I mean, this store doesn't happen without a love for Gnostic Front. You know what I mean? I saw Our Deceased, course. the death metal band. Deceased, yep. they were up there and they did, uh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, killing's my business. business. <laughs> my favorite <laughs> fucking <laughs> eliminator. Eliminator. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, that was my business. Yeah. business. Yeah. That's like smoke on the water of, uh, that's hard. Yeah, it's how I, when I wrote that riff, I wrote like the smoke on the water type riff. Because I want to use the whole neck of the guitar. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I never thought that. That's amazing. Yeah. That is Free amazing. Album. Yeah. Music genius. Yeah. Yeah. What can I tell you? So obviously, Lou, like Sub-Zero, AF is a huge influence. Tell us a little bit about the beginning era of, of getting Sub-Zero off the ground and, and how that came together. For people that don't know, you guys also have a huge history. Put out a bunch of records um, that people know, and oh, we um, only put out like three. <laughs> but it's been uh, it's been over a very long uh, period of time. What's the fuck MTV one? Happiness without peace. That's, that's the one that's on uh, yeah, social that's media, hard, right? Nice album. But that all that the band TV came from. Uh, Richard Cannon was in breakdown Larry, in yeah. 80, 80, 80. He came. He came in. He, he wrote like the songs like uh, uh, All I Ask and uh, and. Uh, 89, no, before that. He was in there before that. It was uh, All I Ask. What was the other, that other song? Ah. Kiss and Dismissed. Yeah, yeah. Ah. With Mark Sisto, who played an MP for a little while. See, this Sisto? is what's going on. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, yeah. They mingled around a little bit. No, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. hey, 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 was up with Mark uh, Sisto? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Sisto. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he was probably dead. You remember we toured together, me and you? Yeah. And I was drunk. And you sat <laughs> into, the, the, into the thing and you broke the, the window in the back of the van and I threw up in the cup. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a, I had to throw up. I'm all right, guys. I'm like, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> And then he's got the the uh, peanut, uh, the, the, the peanut allergy. allergies. The peanut allergies. He's dying in the Ooh. corner. Eddie, Eddie Ortiz. Oh. The, the, the <laughs> and Richie eyes with the eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we... I apologize for throwing we, up in your van. No, 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 it was a rental. I know that, I know, but still. You gotta have it cleaned. But when we, when I, when we first started, we did, we did the, we did our first show, uh, we did our first show in New York City mm -hmm. with uh, Raw Shack, Life's oh, Blood, oh, no, uh, Eye for an Eye, and it's fucking crazy, whatever. But our first Connecticut show we played was, was at the Anthrax, and uh, yeah, you're totally right. And this guy, my father used to <laughs> make flyers for us because he had a Xerox machine at his, at his place. Vinny, hey, remember this? And he's in the he's in the parking lot at the Anthrax, and my father comes at the time with a suit and tie, you know, <laughs> fucking, you know, gangster looking, you know what I mean? Fucking 
the nose, and the, the fucking nose. head. And he goes, he comes up to Vinny, and he goes, <laughs> I'm looking for my son. You know, uh, his name is Lou, he plays in the band. And so they start talking. They're not talking about me, they're not talking about the music, they're talking about the old neighborhoods. Oh, and Kate. Awesome. Yeah, this fucking talk for hours. Yeah, yeah. Hours. My, my father is from uh, Harlem, 116th Street, put it out. His That's father. You know, you know, you know about yeah. his, my grandfather was, uh, you know, one of these guys. You know, like, That's why we got the notes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Vinny, my father, talked. Yeah, for, yeah, for, that like, was great. Hours, Lou. Yeah. I always think of that too. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, so when I you know. when I tell my father time, I go, "See, Stephen says happy birthday." Uh, cool, wow. That. And that's one of the that's cool, a great. Yo, that's one of the coolest things about Look. hardcore is like oh, how yeah, yeah, connected it is. Too. You know what I'm saying? And how everybody comes from all over for hardcore, like the love of hardcore and like. You know, you just look across this, yeah. just the four of us here. You really? know what I mean, I mean I've a, been talking to people from Japan, Holland, all over the world. Over the planet it's, crazy. It's, it's so insane. And I want to thank everybody out there, me and Lou DeBella and, 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 and Isaac and Jay. You got to come to this store if you're in Connecticut. Thank you, man. Please, everybody. Thank everybody. Oh, this is hardcore. This is the real deal. Thank you. I mean, we're trying to yeah, keep You don't get a bigger endorsement than that in your store. I mean, I'm sorry. We're trying to keep yeah. it. Together, over no, here. Listen, so, people is, don't understand how big the, the hardcore community is, but also, uh, when I when we go to Europe, they all over the world, they think that we just know each other for music. You know, but I grew with me, MQ, Hoya, we grew up together, so the, so we would go. There were kids in my house. And we, t we used to take this poor guy's house over in Little Italy in Mont Street. I moved out. <laughs> I moved out. <laughs> yeah, without more, like, and we would we would get we were getting so much trouble in the city, and. and, and he was all, all yeah. He was like, oh. they have a pile of bats in the corner. In case yeah. someone their beef, they come up. Hey, we got beef. Run down. My mother, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mom, it's okay. No, sir. Vinny's, Vinny's fucking uh, monster. His mother used to yell, yell at the Vinny. Dad is ready. He used to go upstairs to the house. It was crazy. Yeah, it's like the the the, the old uh, uh, pigeon coops. Yeah, the uh, the uh, man, yeah. Man. The old man, old juice man. Then he loves the pigeon man. guy, yeah. my grandfather. Oh, oh, he, he's a pigeon guy. Yeah, yeah. He don't know it, but he is. Because <laughs> I'm in a pigeon club. Well, tell him, I want to talk about. Tell us a little bit about the pigeon club because I love this stuff. Well, I'm in a pigeon club with my friend Johnny Pigeons. He was on the <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was a pigeon. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't a stool pigeon. <laughs> Not a stool <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> Anyway, he was on the show with Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a real pigeon guy. Yeah. I, I went to pigeon shows with him a lot. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I always show your name and you. Because he's a natural pigeon guy, even though he... Yeah. <laughs> really? He's like yeah. the doctor. I'm terrified. The guy. You know, yeah, funny, listen I'm to me, I got a I'm terrified of birds. Oh, my God, too. My God. Oh, you know what oh, I used yeah. to do? Now, pigeon coop is really small, right? And there's a lot of things. So I used to invite, invite, invite members. Here, come in the coop. Come in the coop. Oh, man, and I would As you go, wah, wah. Yeah. They call the pigeons fly all over us. Like, no and we're way. in a little box. And like 40 pigeons be flying around. <laughs> it was scary. To freak people out. Yeah. That was, was scary. so cool. It was scary. It was scary of birds. And they're, they're the funniest shit ever. Hoya. <laughs> no, no, shout out to the I love you. I'm going to tell you about the town. I'm going to tell you about the town. I'm going to tell you about the town. The Pelican attacked you and you ran like a bitch. We <laughs> <laughs> were sweet. He's going with bitch. The Pelican he he just, came too close and chased fire like, like, like a block. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the wine. We've also got our hay breed. Let me see the. the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a lager. It's a lager. It's a lager. It's a lager. Yeah. Jamie's still my manager, oh, by the way, everybody. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> yeah, no way. Wait, I, I ain't going to let him get away with that. It's Bree Brew from Hay Breed. <laughs> Shout out to Wayne and the boys. Uh, Bree Brew is a. Uh, it's good. The Hebrew, the the Hebrews <laughs> drink the Bree Brews. The Hebrews drink the Bree Brews and get fucked up. Okay? Yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah! Welcome! Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk? Want to talk? Yeah. I want to say, what you remember? Oh, God. I was just talking about this. A long time ago, oh, I had a Patrick Ewing sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess who you knew about it. See, I told you. So listen, like, like you no know, Patrick, you I look like this '87. I got a thing. So I go, yeah, I left it, I left it on, on the road, I left it in the house one day, and they go, oh, we don't know where it is. 
So when his kid was born, he was in my Ewing outfit holding his kid. <laughs> <laughs> and a bad ball record. I was like, oh, 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 motherfucker. I do it. I got to make a confession. <laughs> I just gave it away to a basketball guy. Oh. 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 Uh, he, took me, he took me to the Knicks game. <laughs> yeah, no, he had like front row tickets. I was like, I gotta bring this guy something. As a matter of fact, I just sent him, I was telling somebody, uh, I sent him a, a, a Stein. I bought it for five bucks. It cost me more money for shipping. Yeah, but I was, I, yeah, but wait a minute. It was like, in, what was that? The, uh, the, the, the Volunteers of America? Type place. The Lions, the Goodwill, the Goodwill. The Lions, the Goodwill. The Lions, the Goodwill. The Lions, the Goodwill. It's true. People don't know what they're throwing away. <laughs> like me, I throw, I'm a thrower away. <laughs> I am, I am. You it's are? terrible. I got a small apartment, so what am I going to do? Yeah, but listen, that apartment. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about So Paul. I want to apologize for that. It's all right. I love it. Uh, okay. Let's talk about Paulie. I got this here. Anybody want for sale? Danny <laughs> <laughs> you know, Diablo special. I like it. Paulie the Bulldog. Well, <laughs> 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 he's not very handsome to look at. And he's just like a hog, and he's always drinking my beer up. Hey, holy <laughs> my beer drinking dog. Hey, hey, there you go. I think that'd be what we have an acoustic for later on. In a, yes, in a yeah, we're we're yo, you. yo, I'm in. I got something for you and you and you. <laughs> You go to watch it. Yeah, everybody got to come in on it. Too. We're going to get through a couple more questions. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got a guitar yeah, check here. I ain't going to worry about nobody. Oh, Luther Bella. So, everyone knows about Luther Bella. He's sub zero punk rock. He also has a new wave gothic band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Got to get the thing over there. Talk about that. Get the thing. Get the thing. I'll hold it off. Black and Morning is. Peter Murphy style. Yeah, it's all that kind of old. New Order, New Order, Order yeah. The Cure, uh, Sisters of Mercy. Uh, it's got Drew from Into Another. Uh, How's he? Tell uh, us that what's up. I will. Yeah. yeah but you uh, die. You do today, you know. Fucking. Don't the, drum the drummer wow, on yeah. the fucking best fucking, one of the best hardcore albums ever. Uh, break Down the Walls, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's that. Uh, we got Derek from. Uh, Who's used to playing uh, uh, Stabbing Westward? Uh, yeah, they were big, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did a shout out to War God who did a right. reissue of both sets. Yeah, you were talking about yep. wanting to do yep. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He played in Filter, he played with the Bob. Filter was fucking Filter too, right? Oh, but, uh, yeah. Well, so, Lou, what made you bring back the, what, what made you bring back Sub Zero now? What made you feel like the timing was right to kind of get back into it, especially like. I, uh, I, I want to put the final nail on the call. I, 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 I had 30 fucking years with this shit. Get it. I don't want to go out like fade out with it. I just want to put some dope out and, and leave like that, you know. Leave on top. Put the nail in the coffin and, and, and say goodbye. You know? So is this kind of like you're you're seeing this kind of as like your last? Prob most likely, yeah. Oh, yeah. And is this so? Is this going to be a full album or EP or what? It's, gonna, we, uh... it's an EP, but it's it's got now it's got eight songs out. So. Sorry. No, it's all right. It's like when I was giving my, it was like when I was giving the speech to my best man at, at the wedding, and everybody's talking, and I didn't tell him. Fuck ass! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Well, well, listen, if there's one thing I can do is, is navigate through an episode, so I will keep us on track. But I'm saying Lou Debella also, the people on stage. It's also, called Black. It's called Black and Morning. Black and Morning. Is it Black and Morning? Yeah. Black and Morning. Black and Morning. 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 Like wrecking? morning. Your morning grief. You know. Sorry. We saw you. I don't have it. Don't right have it. there? Right there? Yeah. No, I don't have it. With me. Black I, I try to get it? Right no, I don't have it. Yeah, go get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I was trying to coordinate. Yeah. 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 I, you know she, me, I'm always, no, I, you know, I'm, 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 like I, I I'm throwing a little bit about talk, 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 talk about how it's working with Scam Dust and Cool Scenes. Oh, so my God. God. So scam, scam, tell me about that. Scam Dust. Come on, look at that. Scam that was Dust. Lou's face how was to answer that, that question. Yeah, how was yeah. that? Answer this five, five. We had him, so hold on really quick. We had him on a Corona Chronicles yeah, episode, probably. and it was insane. So I can't even imagine what it's like to be... Well, I, I uh, you know, he went, I can. He, went to, <laughs> he went to school with, uh, he went to school Hoya, no? Did he go to school Hoya? No, no, he didn't go to school Hoya. He, 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 uh, Nam went to school, we're from the same neighborhood. Yeah, right, right, right. So the first, when I first met Richie Skin 
on on a, uh, in front of CBGB's would be clicked off immediately. Boom. And uh, he comes to my house. And I was living on Rivington Street. We're knocking in the house, knocking on the door, fucking uh, six o'clock in the morning. What the fuck is this? Six o'clock in the morning, knocking my door. And it's Richie Skinny looking at the people. He's like this. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? But he always bring me a gift. And it was like a jar of olives, some uh, some <laughs> oh, steak, 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 steaks in a jacket. Steak. 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 Professor, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes the, the FBI is looking for me. I gotta get out of here, place to hide. <laughs> but I was him, you know. him. It was, it was. Yeah, and for real, not even a joke. You know That's why he's still with me. Yeah. Six in the morning, I come yeah. home six in the morning, he's standing on my fire escape <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. with no shirt on, with Peter Green. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. Mission. yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. Well, I went on him with a mission. Yeah, yeah. to collect money. <laughs> and put it, put it this way, there was a stapler involved. And he had to, <laughs> yeah. Had to, you know, had the money to stay there. Yeah, had to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Richie, how long, Richie? Well, because yeah. I just I find like but he said, was, he's very, he was always passionate about what he was doing. You know, yeah, exactly. when, I, when I was when when we were doing Scarhead, he was always singing this song. He, he would uh, uh, recognize a rat. Yeah, you know, and we kind of make fun of him. But <laughs> he was he was, he was, he was <laughs> very roadie. But it's very roadie. Yeah, but then when you put it to the fucking music, yeah. it was like, wow, this shit is no, he was fucking he's, real. He's, 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 he's talking about it's it. fucking real. You no, know, he's, 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 he's got he's a very good he, delivery. And his personality, and it's, yeah. Yeah. it's not like it's not like anybody else, and that's good. I, I like that. You know what I mean? And what he did was fucking different. When he came up, he had this idea in his yeah, head for yeah. years. No, you know? he, and he kind of did. Well, the, oh, but I always oh, said he should be an actor. You know? He is, he should. always should have been an actor uh, uh, above and before anything else. I, I always liked when he was, uh, yeah. he ended up on the hey, cat collar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he should have rode that out. He had to be silly. Sigma, when he was doing all the cat calling. Remember when he was on TV doing all that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Everybody was hating on him. No, I thought yeah, he was yeah, yeah. I love well, it. The girl, the woman yeah. ran him. Yeah, Come on. Get, uh, get, uh, get over it. That, that joke, nigga still you know? not like Scam Dust. It's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, was, he became a good, very good friend of mine. And uh, he, he loved my mother and uh, my, my family. My, his, uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend was, was calling my mother up because you know, she left him. And he's you know, one of those guys. And he's leaving messages, so Richie Skeen gets on the phone, get the number like this, and he talked to his parents, and he says he's going to chop their heads off, <laughs> like, yes. like, like the parents. <laughs> yes. you know? but, but, you know, normally you, you call the cops. You know, really? cops. But I mean, you, the tone, you know, if, if anybody knows him, you hear the tone of his voice, I mean, and you're not going to call the cops, because it's, it's, you believe it, <laughs> and it's true, you know what I mean? And he's, you know, he's, he's, a good guy. he's a great guy. He's a great guy. That's amazing. So, uh, Vin, you guys obviously, AF is always on the road, man. Jumping into this whole fucking pandemic where we can't do anything. Like, what the? What, what? It's a little rough. Yeah, what's that like for somebody like you, especially like you said? I mean, you spent your whole... I've been whole on the road 40 for, years. For 40 years. Oh, yeah, I, I used to change Willie Nelson's diapers. What? <laughs> it's true. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I'm no, 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 really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shit green. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? It is what it is. Hey, the <laughs> troublemakers out there. Hey, yo. Oh, oh, shit. Get, get these troublemakers out of here. <laughs> but, you know, I, what I'm doing a lot now is drinking wine. Yeah, enjoying, enjoying, life. enjoying life. Yeah. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. Hey, you know, almost another the, great radar screen trying to nice get song. through it like everybody else. Right, yeah. Doing the best you could. Right, yeah. It'll yeah. go over yeah. when we'll they're be. ready. Yeah. How, how excited are you to get back on stage? I can uh, only imagine. As a matter of fact, gonna I'm going to be on the, 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 the magic stick on uh, April 22nd <laughs> in, in, in Detroit. In Detroit, near St. Andrews Hall. I'm on St. Andrews Hall. <laughs> anyway, I'm supposed to be uh, on that tour, so, but if it God wants, we, we'll be there. God wants. All right, so I'm going to, before we ask a small favor of you, we're going to just go around really quick and wrap up the, Yeah. Okay. I want to ask you something. So we're, the stigma, we, you and I are working on reissuing your movie. So tell us, tell everybody who maybe missed it the first time about the movie and, uh, and, and, and what's it about. Make it a knife. New York Blood is a movie, a B-rated movie that I made. I know it's a B-rated movie. You think I don't know? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, but it's real. It's about a father and son saga. Yep. Okay? 
It's got a lot of violence. They call it uh, a gangster horror, kind of. <laughs> but it's not. I don't see it that way. It's a, it's a good movie. I like it. But I like it, it. It, it has a message in it. And uh, hey, listen, this is hardcore. This is on the no budget. We did this. We did this like this. Yeah. Well, and that, listen, that's how hardcore is, right? Yeah, so really. We're oh, going right. to end up, you and I are taking the movie, and we're going to reissue it on Static Era next year for, with the greatest hits of Stigma. The greatest Stand. hits of Stigma. So shout out to Gallo. Yeah. Gallo, shout out to Nikki my, the to, Knife. To Gallo, Nikki the Knife, and everybody. for We're going to coordinate this project, so keep your eye on the podcast, and me and Stigma are working on that. We're also working on our Stigma action figure that we had first talked oh, about last year. Yeah, that's coming, and that's our we big, big... Uh, comes with a face to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and Lou, mine's just a funny nose. Lou, uh, <laughs> Lou. So and before we ask for a stigma for a small favor, what, uh, where can everybody keep up with you online? Shout out to the record. Let everybody know what's going on with Sub Zero and where yeah, you're at. State records. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Mario. Nice and his and his wife. Uh, family. Good about the business too. Yeah, all about all about. Money, whatever. It's about getting the bands out there and, and, and fucking uh, get, getting it heard. And, and, I'm and ex it, dude, and I'm excited to see you guys back out there. Obviously, like you and I got to work together back in the yeah. day, and it was oh, a lot yeah. of was fun, such a man. Band in the ass. No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, not, not, you trust me, man. I had so much fun working on those those two releases with you. So it's by the awesome way, to, uh, to see you. I mean, back. just talked. I, he just talked to Jamie. I don't know if he's lying, but he told Jamie. <laughs> Re -re -re -release? They're re-releasing uh, uh, "Suffering a Man." Oh, Re awesome, man! Richie's gonna oh, remix shit. it, and re and and, uh, and um, what's his name? He's gonna remaster it. The, the, the legend, uh, Zeus. Zeus. No, no, the remaster guy, the mastering guy. Oh, oh, oh Alan Dutch. Alan Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. So you found out yesterday. Yeah. But then, but then, uh, so then, the full seven inch, seven inch, uh, seven song, eight song EP is coming out next year. And shout out to Instagrams. Where can everybody follow you Inst online? Instagram Sub Zero NYHC underscore uh, whatever the fuck is next <laughs> you'll, you'll see it, it on the screen over here it'll be right here I don't care it'll be right here so listen <laughs> I really don't we brought, <laughs> a, we brought an acoustic guitar <laughs> can I can, do you think we can get Vinny yeah, to play a couple can, songs at the end of the show yeah. I, so I, I just I uh, do that. Do do that. That. hold on we, we, we got a we got a special we got a we got a special guitar I want my guitar tech to give it to me shout out to the one and only the only one and only Green. guitar tech right here. Okay. And we gotta get him in there. Okay, hold on, wait, 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 guys, hold on, oh. hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, I was playing guitar before we was born. No. All right, wait, hold on. Mr. Diablo has uh, a Listen, story really quick. I know me. Wayne from before yeah. Hate Breed when he was an ice pick with me. Me too. And oh. Porter, Porter. Yeah. in between. Hate in between, I felt so, and I felt so bad for him. Hey, that's, that's like, he, he just ran right into that mess. <laughs> <laughs> Vince, stay right in the... Yeah, I got okay. it. Yeah! yeah! I gotta yeah. give him yeah. his minute. Yeah. I gotta give him his minute. So I guys, my guitar yeah. tack over there. Guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining us on Diablo's Den. Episode number 11. Be Thank sure you. to like and subscribe on the YouTube, the newsletter. And you could talk us out of it, and we'll sing you out of it. No, they're going to start off, but I just want to shout out one, one more time oh, to... To my boy Steve STB Records for bringing these out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to shout out. I love Steve. Who is this guy? Very surprised. I want to shout out. Okay, we got a shout out my boy Pitts. Pitts, my girlfriend Storm, happy birthday. Happy yeah, birthday, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Pitts, yo, uh, DJ Muggs, thank you for the soul sass and stuff. Yo, okay, yeah. shout out Mike. I gotta shout out my boy Mike Z and Ear One Productions for holding us yeah. down and doing the audio yeah. today. I gotta shout out Jamie and Nicholas's eyes for bringing the cake. I gotta shout out my girlfriend Ben for holding it down. I gotta shout out my boys Yvonne and Mark for helping me out at the store. Yeah. And everybody behind the scenes right now. We're gonna we'll we'll end it up like we're this. gonna end it like this. Vinny Stigma acoustic and Santa Gira. Guys, the biggest stream. I don't think I could have ever made it happen. Cheers.
not good night. Thank you, Oh, 
You up at the same time, so there's nothing wrong with that. You know? Right, Lou. Right, 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 Lou. Right, Lou. Right, Lou. That's great. That was awesome. Good, guys. That was good. That was fun. Good job. 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 Good job